The fire has been playing an essential role in the life of Homo sapiens for hundreds of thousands of years. Fire is useful for cooking a meal, getting to want, or just goes a light in your cave. Although it's quite complicated to put the campfire in your house to cook a meal, you can still enjoy a cozy atmosphere with a, just the light of the candle. In this video, we will go over the items you need to light the candle, what are the safety precautions, how exactly light the candle with the matches, and also how to put out the fire safely. Let's show it. In order to get the cozy, uh, cozy feeling, you need obviously a candle. You need some good candle holder. And also you need matches to light the candle. Before you go into the process to light the candle, you have to be sure about some safety uh, precautions. First of all, your candle holder must be steady and your candle should fit securely inside the candle holder. Your area where you set up the candle must be away from the flammable materials on the sides and also on top of the candle. And of course, in order to light the candle, you need a box of matches. First step, you have to attach the candle inside the candle holder. Be sure it's attached securely and it's in upright position. If it's tilted, the melted candle wax can drop on the table and ruin your, your table. To get the match, you need to open the matchbox. Matchbox can be opened by just pushing on the one side of the matchbox and the little door will slide out on the other side. Be sure you open the matchbox in the correct way. The door must be upright. If you do it in the wrong way, all your matches will fall on the table. To be sure that the matchbox is in the uh, correct way in your hand, so lay it out just a little and take a peek. If you can see the matches uh, from up of the box, it is in a, a, a correct way. Now open it a little bit more until you can reach the one match, take it out from the box and close the match box. When you take out the match, observe carefully the tip of the match. It should have some colored material on top of the match and it shouldn't be broken. If it's broken, replace the match, take the other one and throw away the broken one. Matchbox has usually brown side. In order to put the match into the fire, you need to scrub the tip of the match on that surface. It will create friction, friction generates some heat and this, will, this heat will light the match. Now be sure that you will do that correctly. If you do it like this, you will get the fire. If you push it too hard, the match will break and the lit match may fall down on your carpet. And instead, to do it in the correct way, take the match and push it on the surface. If you push it, it won't break and you get the fire. Now you can control that fire because fire wants to move upright and if you move your match upright the fire gets slower and if you put it in opposite way it will get faster through fingers and you might burn your fingers. Now to get the fire on top of the candle you can see there's a little wick coming out from the candle wax. This is the thing what you need to get into the fire. So, lit your match, move it close to the wick, wait until it gets into the fire, and then set out the fire of your match by just gently blowing on the match. If your candle is burning, some important safety tips are needed to keep in mind. First and most important, do not leave your candle unattended. Do not leave the room when the candle is burning. 
because you don't know what might happen while you are the way. Next important thing, do not move the burning candle because underneath the fire there is a melted candle wax and this candle wax is hot. If you leave the room and put out the fire on the candle, there are a couple of, a couple of different ways how to do that. First way, the easiest, like we, like we did with the match, you can just blow on the candle and the fire stops. Be sure that this is distinct, not too hard, not too soft. Another way to put out the candle fire is a bit more advanced and some say more dangerous. You can make your fingers a bit wet and just touch the wick quickly and shortly and it will put out the fire without uh, danger to spread out some burning uh, uh, remains of the candle wick to the items near the candle. It is a bit safer but it needs, needs more skill to do it because if you do it too slowly you might burn your finger. So This is it about getting a small cozy fire in, inside the room uh, to make a maybe diplomatic atmosphere. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.